Hello, today we are going to talk about drip campaigns. What is a drip campaign and how to build one in Lawmatics? A drip campaign is one of the most tried and true and effective methods of marketing and engagement that you can do as a business. We've all experienced drip campaigns in some capacity in our, in our lives. A great example of this is you've been to an e-commerce website and you've purchased a product from that site. And then for, for several months, maybe even a, up to a year after you purchase that, you're receiving emails, marketing emails, check-in emails from that company. This is a drip campaign. It is simply a cadence, a sequence of communications, whether it's an email or a text message or otherwise, that go out based on a particular trigger. Building a campaign like this, a drip campaign in Lawmatics, is very simple. And I'll show you how to do that today. Now, for purposes of this demo, I've already created a few emails that I would like to send out as part of this drip sheet sequence. If you don't know how to build an email in Lawmatics, it's very simple. You simply navigate over to assets, emails, and then you can create a plain text email or a templated email, which is more of a designed HTML email, or you can go to any of our help articles or videos on how to use emails in Lawmatics. The drip campaign that I would like to use as an example is one of the most common that we recommend you, you use as a law firm. And this is a sequence that is set to begin as soon as a case is closed. So the idea being you finished up with a, with a particular client and their case is over. And typically that might be it for their relationship with your firm. But what we recommend is having a drip sequence, a drip campaign that is going to communicate and engage with them over the course of the next year after their case is over. Now this may vary by practice area and you may have a different, you know, a different uh, specific solution that you would like to see in place. But generally speaking, a good place to start is a campaign that goes for a year. That does not mean that you're sending them an email every week for a year, nobody wants that. But it may mean that you're gonna, you're gonna send them an email wrapping up their case a day or two after it's over. And then maybe a month later, you're going to send another email to check in. And then maybe a month after that, you're going to send another email, which actually requests that they leave you a review on whatever review website you are using. And then another check in a few months after that and so on and so forth until the year is over. And by doing this, you're staying top of mind in this, in this client's mind. So a year from now, if they haven't heard from you, they may have sort of forgotten about you. But if you're, if you're using this drip campaign, not only do they remember you, and so if anyone else needs a lawyer, they're gonna recommend you, or if they need a lawyer again, they're gonna come to you. But they're also having a great experience. They feel engaged, they feel like you were not just, uh, they were not just a number to you. It was personal and, and you've been communicating with them. So again, building a drip campaign is very easy. We've already created the emails. The next thing we need to do is head over to automations this is where you will be building your, your drip campaign. Again, it's just starts with a trigger. What do you want to start the drip campaign? And then you're building a sequence, a cadence of communications to go out. For this case, we're gonna use the case being closed as the trigger. Now I've already created a custom field to capture whether or not a case has been closed. So we can use that as a very easy trigger in our automation. So let's come over here and create a new automation and we're gonna call it case closed drip campaign. And we'll make this for matters in all PNCs. If we would like to make sure that this is only used for hired, we could use hired, but again, we're using a specific field as a trigger. So it's better to encompass everybody and then you know that you're only using that trigger on the people that their case is over. So we'll come in here and we'll specify the entry condition. For this example, we're gonna be using that field. So we're gonna to go to match on fields. We'll search for case closed and we will set that equal to true. And that will be our condition. So now whenever we set that field to true, this person will go through this particular drip campaign. So the next thing we do is we need to set the delay and then the communication. That is all a drip campaign is. 
it is a series of delays and communications. So let's say that our first email, we'd like to go out after one day. So we're gonna delay for one day, and then we are gonna send our email. And that email is gonna be drip campaign number one. We'll send it, we'll leave everything here kind of standard, and we'll go ahead and save, okay? The next email, we wanna send out three weeks after that. So now we're gonna have a three week delay. And then we're gonna add another email to be sent and it's going to be drip campaign number two. We'll then add another delay and this delay is gonna be two months. And then number three is gonna go out. And then our last email for this example, we'll set it to be five months. And then we'll send our last email. And it's that simple. We've now built a drip campaign. So you can see here, we have a total delays. This one is one day, three weeks. So it's about a month, another two months, so that's three months, and then five months. So we have an eight month drip sequence here. It's four emails. This is not, you don't have to use this exact example, but the idea is to show you what a drip campaign is, how powerful it can be, and how easy it is to set one up in Lawmatics. Again, we're using emails here. Feel free to experiment with text messages or any other forms of communication that you'd like to automate in Lawmatics. But this is how you build a drip campaign, and we hope that, we hope that you enjoy it.